This is Joseph Coco. I'm at Comic Con 2016 on behalf of Becca's Art Process blog, uh, Natto Soup. If you could introduce yourself, please. Uh, my name is Yugan Chen, and uh, I am a freelance artist. Okay. Yeah. And Yugan, what brings you to Comic Con this year? Um, honestly, business, but uh, I have never really been to Alabama before, so this was a good chance to sort of get out and uh, sort of check out different things. And it is a new convention, so for me, yeah. Um, so it's definitely another like reason to come out here and to sort of see new things. Yeah, definitely. So we spoke a little bit earlier. You said you're from the New York area. Yeah. Uh, what What specifically about Comic Con drew your attention? Was it just in a good time for you, um, or have you heard it, good it things about the convention? It was definitely. Yeah, it was a good time. And sure. uh, again, I I'm new to this, so it's a good. Um, I guess it's one of the cons I think is a good starting point. Um, and I've been, I haven't been doing this for too, too long. And so I haven't been to every con um, around, the, around the year. Yeah. So Comic Con is definitely one of it that uh, seem interesting and um, will get me to sort of get out of state, you know, so. Right. Yeah. So what conventions have you done in the New York area or you, even um, that has been limited? I, uh, just a few weeks ago, I've been to um, a really small con in New York. Uh, it's called January Con, and it was a lot smaller than this. Um, but uh, what else? I've been to uh, Sabotan. It was it was in Arizona uh, last year, um, and at USA. Okay. Uh, and and a few others. I, I'm really bad with tracking uh, the con yeah. names, but uh, that's. Just a few that I could think off the top of my head, yeah. Yeah, I understand. And you're just kind of playing things by ear, or do you have like a schedule planned out of everything um, you want? I started to do, when I started, which was not that long ago, I basically sign up for whatever I can. Yeah. And I realized later on how important it is to have a set schedule. Yeah. There's some cons, they, um, they overlap on the same weekend. So uh, you, you have to sort of um, not only like try to find out how the con is, but also Make sure that dates, um, you know, like don't overlap. Basically. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, is art something that um, you just got into as a hobby, or uh, you uh, were professionally trained, or you just getting into it to try to break was, into the field? It was. Uh, it was definitely a hobby ever since I was little, um, and right. I'm sure a lot of artists out there as well. But um, yeah, it sort of just so happened to. I don't know. I, I guess I got lucky. Um, yeah. And I started to do conventions and start drawing these things about two years ago, and um, and I still have a, have a lot to learn, a lot to improve. But uh, I mean, right now I'm great. Thank you, thank you. I I appreciate that. But yeah, I I still have a lot to, to like work on and learn. So hopefully down the line I'll have you know improvement over time. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's been your experience with uh, cons in general? Um, what do you what do you call yourself a print artist? It looks like the majority of what you have here um, is prints. Yeah, or are I, uh, you are you um, promoting commissions as well at shows? I actually do, do commissions, especially especially online. But yeah. in the beginning, I do take commissions on site just to see how that goes. Yeah. But if anything, um, if you do commissions on site, you have to make sure. Uh, how long it takes you to do one commission and what kind of commission you'll be willing to do because right. you meet so many different people and they all have different ideas that they want to get done so um, but right now yeah I do commissions online mo most mostly because it's easier to communicate and work with over over time so okay yeah. um, so uh, the follow-up question was uh, what's been your experience with how people um, Respond at the. Uh, are you oh. primarily doing anime conventions? Yeah, mainly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how people respond to uh, a print sort of booth? Like they walk up, they oh yeah, uh, look um, around at your things, and they get excited about um, like something which is inspired by their fan art, or they flip through the books and try to carefully look through everything. What? Uh, I think uh, response. Well, to begin with, they usually they are happy of what they see, especially since it's now official art. Yeah, they, they do. They do you're like. Not, you're not just pulling images off. The no, web of course and not. Them. But um, <laughs> in terms of fan art, people like it because uh, it's something that we share in common. You know, we, it's a stranger, completely stranger, but they see something they like being done by someone local yeah. or an individual, and uh, I think they really like that. 
Uh, especially yeah, the, the you, liberties you take with it kind of shows how you appreciate the fandom rather than exactly. just copying like an uh, image straight from the show. Exactly, and people like different styles, especially when it comes to just someone, like I said, who they, they never met before and they see a character in a different style yep. and a lot of people like that. So, and um, yeah, and I, as an artist, I appreciate when people just even you know, show their support and it's, it's always been like really fun to just meet different people at different conventions, so. Okay. Yeah. And what advice would you have to give to another artist who's considering tabling at Comic-Con for the first time? Uh, Comic-Con for the first time? Just, Other honestly, than don't sit under a cold vent? <laughs> right, yeah, that's that's one thing, but um, it's more of uh, what you do before that. So just keep on drawing, keep on practicing, and right. make sure you, you are drawing what you like. Um, that's for any cons. And, Comic Con is definitely one of the really good cons to go to because the staffs they are really really helpful. Yeah. Um, they they will check up on you every hour or so, make sure everything's fine. Um, and uh, and the crowd has been great, so I would definitely recommend it, uh, as the, especially for starters. It's like there's not really much pressure. Right. For, uh, so for you're saying that if if you do forget something or mess up in some way, the staff will be able to help you out. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. in that way, it's good for a beginner. Yeah, That's what, yeah. Okay. Especially if you table alone, the staff will help you out if you need to get away for for a second. Yeah. They'll, they'll watch your stuff and make sure everything's fine. Okay. So that's really helpful. All right. And where can we find your work online? Uh, this is based on my business card. I have people take pictures or you know even, even videos about it, so they won't lose it. And I don't use paper. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a problem. Thank you. All right. Well, do you have any final thoughts or advice about the convention? Uh, to if, upcoming artists in general? Uh, just for artists, keep on drawing. Um, have fun. Definitely have fun with what you do. And uh, that way, you'll be worth it uh, in the long run. So, but yeah, just keep drawing and really just go at it. Do whatever you can. All right, Yugon. Well, I hope you had a great Comic Con. We're coming Thank up you. on the end here. So yeah. have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. I